Hey guys, my name is Anya from Vibrational Wealth. So what my company does is that we work on the six different pillars of a wealth, which is a spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, relational, and financial. Everyone always wants financial wealth first, but there's so much other things that, that happen like within our bodies, within ourselves, within our mindset that does not allow us to get into that financial wealth. A lot of times we have a lot of blocks. So what we use is I'm going to go over a technique called EFT tapping. If you're familiar with EFT tapping, we do something very similar. What we do is vibrational frequency tapping, which is VFT. The only difference between EFT and a VFT is that we actually add a vibrational frequency within our actual tappings. So you do have a little bit more of that mental binarial state inside your head and it does get into the subconscious more as if actual tapping would. So if you're not familiar with tapping at all, then what tapping is, is it moves energy within our bodies in order to get rid of blocks. These could be any blocks from money blocks, trying to, having some kind of blocks if you're trying to manifest a partner or any kind of manifestations that you're having or just in general. Like I used it for anxiety, I've used it for insomnia. You could literally use it for anything. It's quite amazing. So before we get started, I wanna say hi to a couple people. So tell me where you guys are from and I'd love to get to know you guys a little bit as well. So t shoot, me a, shoot me a comment where you guys are from. I'd love to see where it's coming in. So the different points of tapping are the side of the hand, this is called a karate chop. And what you do when you start tapping on this is you say a, an affirmation. So you would start with this and this is called a setup. So you would start tapping and whatever comes up at first, that's what you will tap on on this side. Then eyebrow point, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone, so like where your collarbone is right here, underneath the collarbone over here, the soft spot, collarbone, and then this spot right here. So I'm going to do a tapping sequence with you guys right now today. And what we're going to be tapping on is common money blocks. I have like this crazy light <laughs> above me right now, so I'm sorry if it's a little like <laughs> too bright right now. Um, a lot of people, they have money blocks. They just can't, they have a hard time manifesting money because they have all of these blocks. So we're going to tap that away right now. I know a lot of people have money blocks. I had them before as well. Some common misconceptions of money blocks are like your parents telling you, oh, money, there's never enough money going around. Like we can't afford that, we can't do that. Another money block is thinking that you're not good enough and you're not worthy of having money. Other people telling you, um, no, like that's just impossible. Like there's no way you could manifest a million dollars in 90 days. So things like these are blocks that come up in ourselves, in our bodies. And then in order to get rid of them, we need to tap on that. So tapping releases the energy inside of you. So today we are going to be tapping on money blocks. I know everyone in this group wants to manifest money. I do. <laughs> So let's begin. Um, I do recommend having headphones on for this series. So if you're somewhere um, not near headphones, take a quick minute. I'll, I'll wait a quick minute for you guys to grab uh, your headphones because I am going to put on the binarial music that I was telling you about, the frequency music, so it does get into your subconscious more. So not only are you getting rid of these blocks within your body, you're going to get rid of them from your subconscious because it's engraved with the music that we're going to be using. So grab your headphones right now, and I'll wait a quick second for that. <laughs> um, feel free to pause this if you're watching the replay as well. So let's rate ourselves from a one to 10. 10 being like, oh my gosh, it's so hard to manifest any kind of money for me. Like I just, I, I have so many blocks all inside of me. It's just really, really, really hard to manifest money for me. And a one being, it's manifesting money is easy peasy. I could do it in a heartbeat when I'm sleeping. 
So we want to go down. Most people, when they start, they're probably at the eight, nine, seven range, but we want to bring it down to a one, two, three. So hopefully this tapping will get you into that, that vibration where you get rid of it and you are at a lower number to end with. So let's begin. Make sure you have your headphones and then rate yourself again from a one to 10. Where are you right now? And then we're gonna rate ourselves again at the end of this video as well, in case um, your tapping might have got it down. So we wanna know what they are right now. So tell me what you're feeling right now in the comments below. What are you feeling? How, what, one to 10, how, and money blocks, like manifesting money, like how, is, it, is manifesting money easy for you? Is it really hard? How are you feeling on a scale of one to 10? So let's start tapping on the side of our hand. Even though I have all of these blocks inside my body from manifesting money. And I am going to pause in between so you have a chance to repeat after me. So I'm going to say an affirmation first and then you're going to repeat after me. Even though I have these blocks of manifesting money, I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Even though I have all these blocks and money doesn't come to me easily and effortlessly. And sometimes I wonder if I'm doing this whole manifesting thing right. I see all these people in all these groups manifesting money easily. But to me, there seems to be some kind of a block. I don't know if it's my parents. I don't know if it's society. I don't know if it's the internet. What I do know is that I'm having a hard time manifesting money. All right, eyebrow. This fear of manifesting. The side of the eye, this constant fear of manifesting. Under the eye, I'm scared of it because I don't know how to manifest. Under the nose, properly. And that freaks me out. When I go into any of these crazy law of attraction groups, I see people manifesting money all the time and posting their wins. And when I'm in this group, I see wins posted all the time. But for me, it's hard to get clients. I just, I have no idea why I cannot get clients. <sighs> clients should be easy to attract. But for me, it's hard. And I heard this manifestation stuff is supposed to be easily and effortlessly. But for me, it's hard. I have a fear of manifesting big money. I must have some kind of blocks inside of me. Maybe it's a fear of what my parents told me. I remember when I was younger, my parents constantly told me there's not enough to go around. They would tell me, oh, we can't afford that. Or they told me, oh, we can't buy that. They told me, do your chores so you could save up your money. And then you could buy whatever you want. But I wanted money to come easily. I didn't want to have to wait. Sometimes I think it's society too. 
social media is a huge factor. Sometimes I get stuck in the comparison syndrome. I would see all these people posting wins in Facebook groups or seeing all these people post how much money they've made or how much clients they've attracted or how well their business is doing. And for me, that's just not how it is. For me, I seem to have a little bit of a harder time. And I'm going to tap that away for me right now. Obviously, I'm desperate to try anything. Because I'm tapping on myself. <laughs> With this girl on the computer. I'm moving energy around in my body. So that I could finally start manifesting what I really want. Because I deserve what I really want. If Joe Schmo over here could deserves what they want, why can't I? I deserve all the abundance in the world. I deserve all the money in the world. Because I am a wealth magnet. Tapping away this fear of not having enough money. I'm tapping away this fear that money only comes to people that work hard for it. Because money should be easy and effortlessly to attract. And this is what I'm doing right now. Right now, as I'm tapping on my face, I am linking myself with my ideal customer via the universe. I'm growing this invisible line from me to my ideal customer. And creating what I like to call a bridge of incidents. So as soon as I get off this recording, that ideal customer will be already looking for me. Because I am a client magnet. And those clients are already looking for me. I've made that bridge of incidents. And I know that they are looking for me as well. All those clients are going to pay me so much money. And then I can finally start charging for my services what I really want to charge. I will finally start deserving the money that I deserve. But not only that, I'm going to help a ton of people as well. Because the more people that I help, the more my bank account is gonna grow. and the more I'll be in service of the universe. Doing exactly what I need to be doing.
because I am a money magnet. I am a client magnet. I am a tr an attractor magnet. And I attract anything that I desire. Whether it's more clients, more coaching calls, more people buying my products, more money in my bank account, more love in my life, more of anything. I'm attracting anything that I want. And I'm doing it right here, right now. Because it's easy to attract things. When you have a positive mind. And the right mindset. And my goals are aligned with money. My life is aligned with wealth. I want to travel the world. I want to help more people. I want to be of service. I want to have a big fat bank account. And I'm starting doing that today. So even though I used to have this fear of money And even though I used to have this fear that I can't attract anything towards me, I release it out of my body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. release yay you just did your very first tapping series so how do you feel after that again let's rate ourselves right now on a scale of one to ten ten being again like it's so hard to manifest money i can't manifest it no matter what i'm doing i just i'm just having a really hard time and i need to do more of these tapping series in order to get rid of that and one being like Oh my gosh, actually, like, I feel much better right now. I feel like I could go out there and attract absolutely anything. Let me know in the comments below. Also, so now that you guys have tapped it away, you know how it feels. I want to invite every single one of you guys into my Facebook group. So my Facebook group is called Manifest Well to Daily. And what we do is that we share daily tips, tricks about the law of attraction. I also share tappings like this almost every single day. I post articles about law of attraction and my group is mostly for entrepreneurs, mostly people that want to scale up their business and grow their business. I work with entrepreneurs and coaches all the time. People that just want to scale their business, they have some kind of blocks within them and they want to scale that, make it bigger, make it better, and then full on explode their business into the millions. So I want to help every single one of you guys as well. I also have a free VFT tapping. If you like this one, I have a free VFT tapping you guys can download as well and do that every single day. It'll be easier for you. Or you could just download it on your phone, put it on your iTunes or wherever, and then take it along as you go. It'll, it's really good to like move energy within our bodies and then get that stagnant pent up energy so it's not there anymore. We don't want it. We don't want that there. Like leave all that crap in the, in the past. So that's all I have for you guys today. Hey, I will see you guys inside my Facebook group. Be sure to check out my website, vibrationalwealth.com. We do uh, manifestations, we do meditations, we do affirmations. We have a ton of different products. We help you manifest more as well. 
We have a law of attraction uh, 28 day challenge, which is amazing. When my husband and I did this challenge, it's 28 days. Within our first two weeks, we manifested $30,000 just within those two weeks of the challenge starting. And then by the end of it, we almost doubled that. So it's just, it's been such an amazing process. I have so many other clients that absolutely loved the challenge. Some people won money, some people manifested it, some people, someone manifested love as well. So it's just, it's been amazing. Amazing. So I will see you guys all on the inside and then we will chat next time, next week. Ciao.